Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. One user from the chat room whose handle I can't pronounce says he really needs our help. I have low disk space on my computer. I deleted all the stuff I don't use anymore, like all the programs, and yet it is still low. What else can I do? I don't want to buy another thing to hold stuff. Oh, if this helps, it is on the system drive D. Well, the drive doesn't really matter. The capacity of the drive, however, does. So if you've only got, let's say, 20 gigabytes, and I don't even know if they sell those uh, capacity drives, at least on desktops anymore. Uh, you, you, you may need to get a, a bigger hard drive or an external option. I don't know if there's there's much else that we can uh, really help you with. Now, you talked about deleting programs, but I don't know if programs are taking up the most amount of space on your hard drive. Now that we've got all these high-resolution images and movies and files that we download on the Internet, those take up a lot more space than regular programs do. So deleting programs is not going to save you a lot of disk space. Used to be the case, not so much anymore. So you may need to look at what you're going to do with all of your files. And uh, granted, they're all files, but the, your files, like your pictures, your documents, your movies, your, your media. That is probably what's taking up the most amount of disk space. Now, I know that some people are, are uh, providing some tips here in chat. Uh, what also might matter is the size of your page file. That's your virtual memory. Uh, wow. Two, yeah, oh, wow. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm just, sometimes I get drawn into chat just as much as other people do. I've got it running here. You can see it there. There's a lot of good help uh, that, that you can use uh, to kind of clear off disk space. It, the solution may be found in software, but you weren't very specific on what operating system you're using, whether it's Windows, Mac, Linux, etc., etc. I think it's all going to be tied down into finding those larger media files and, and not getting rid of them, but archiving them, uh, getting them off the machine. And by the way, you know, most people back up to, you know, regular old CDs or DVDs. Removal media has a shelf life. If you're going to back up, do it in a redundant fashion, meaning don't just do one backup, do two. Do, do two, keep one close, and then put the other in a safety deposit box or off-site somewhere, some, a friend's house, an uncle's house. Uh, I say that because we have data backups for both my uh, documents and, and Ponzi's machine, and we keep them uh, with Ponzi's Uncle Chai and he keeps them safe and sound. You say you don't want to buy another drive, uh, and I think that's kind of the wrong way to go. I think you do need to buy another drive, and I would buy another drive, specifically an external hard drive. Um, if you don't have the money for it, um, find another way to get those files off the machine. Uh, look for all the files that are going to be bigger than a certain size, and depending on your operating system, you're, you're going to have a different way of doing that, uh, looking for files larger than, as someone had recommended, looking for the files larger than a gigabytes. Pardon me. Um, just having a little Pete's <laughs> Wicked Ale. Uh, so, yeah, uh, look for the media files. That's probably taking up uh, most of your space. And, of course, if anybody has any recommendations for software that they use to uh, keep an eye on the files on their hard drive in terms of size and, and wasted space, by all means, make your recommendations.